Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Steve from Old Guy Hockey. I uh, just want to give an update to uh, those of you who uh, have been following the fact that I've had uh, two knee replacements in the last little over a year now. I had one done in um, December of uh, December 21st, 2015, and then um, I had my other one done on September 26th, 2016. So the right knee is about five months in now. And um, my left knee, you're looking at like 15 months ago. And just to give you a little update, I, I just wanted to like encourage people who've had ideas of uh, possibilities of getting their knees replaced. Um, the rehab and the uh, PT part of it is kind of, you know, taxing. I mean, it hurts, but it you just got to do it. And my experience for me was um, keeping up with the stretching, you know, and, and it, initially you have two days a week for the first two or three weeks where PT comes to your house. Or, hope, you know, if you're, if you're young enough, you have them come to your house. I mean, some people go into a rehab facility for a couple of weeks, elder, more older people. I'm 56, almost 57 now. I had them come to my house two weeks, a couple of times a week, and then I went to outpatient PT. And it's all about range of motion and then strengthening. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, as of uh, January 17th, so that was... October, November, December, January, four months into my second one, I skated uh, for the first time. And it, it felt weird. It was, it was a little different, you know. Uh, the, the tendons, the muscles, I, my strength-wise, I wasn't ready for any kind of like a hockey game or anything. But the um, skating felt a little weird. Crossing over felt weird. Skating backwards felt really bad. It felt like I had to learn how to skate backwards all over again. But it was all because of the... You know, the muscles weren't prepared for that. Tendons weren't, you know, I had a little still, little bit of tendon pain on the side of my legs. But, um, but you know, that was the 17th of January. Now we're looking at it's uh, March 8th, I think, today, or 7th. And um, I've been skating regularly for the last six weeks and playing. I played a little bit after the first couple of weeks. And... Um, and it's amazing. I mean, it's like you just every week it's better. It's just it's a little better every week, and um, so I'm just I'm very happy that I've been able to get back into skating and playing a little bit of hockey. It's been uh, pretty much two years where I've been from from going from a regular two to three times a week playing in a couple of pickup games and then a morning league I used to belong to to, um, you know, not doing anything, uh, my back was messed up, uh, it was like two years ago this month, and then my back was messed up, then I had my, my first knee replacement at the end of that year, and then uh, the re recovery from that, you know, I had a couple of shots in my spine for the back stuff, and, you know, I uh, got a, dis uh, what do you call it, a ruptured disc, and um, so it's just, you know, it's been an ongoing, it's been two years of just, you know, that kind of stuff. So now I feel like I'm just getting back into things again and working out more and, you know, strengthening my legs and just going to the gym and playing hockey. And I actually played twice last week and uh, so far so good. So try not to overdo it, but uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to feel like you're getting back into life. So uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, a happy future. So uh, anybody who's had the uh, possibility of the, you know, the need to possibly get a knee replacement, you can definitely do stuff afterwards. You just got to kind of, you got to really push hard and strengthen them up before you start doing anything like, you know, things you're used to doing if you're any kind of athletic person. So I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.